right, so here's the full map of Coronado Springs. So right now we're here at El Centro. And we're staying over here in Casitas 3. But you can see it goes all the way around the lake. There's three different areas, the Casitos, the Ranchos, and Cabanas. And then the dig site is the main pool. It's uh, like a Mayan archeological dig site. And then you have also the convention center here at Coronado Springs. So it's a huge resort, huge area. And that bridge, if I'm looking at it correctly, will kind of come this way and connect over here and maybe also over here. Kind of bring it all together. Pretty awesome. So this is the uh, Casitas building pool. So there's five Casitas buildings. This pool is kind of centrally located. All right, so this is where you can kind of see all of the construction that's happening here at Coronado Springs. So over here, you've got the tower going in, which that will become the main uh, area of the hotel. That'll be like where the grand lobby is and all that. Right now, that's in this building over here. Uh, but once that tower is open, that will become the central area. Uh, and then over here, you have a walkway that's being built. So right now, it's made up of construction materials, but it will be a permanent walkway that will go out. And that pad over there where they're putting down uh, concrete and such, that's gonna be a restaurant out on the middle of the water, which is really cool. And then this walkway will actually connect some of the different areas of the resort. It's broken up into several different areas and that'll just make it uh, much easier to get around. That's been one of the biggest complaints that we've heard about this resort is that it's all so spread out and it's such a long walk to get from area to area. But uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty amazing to see all this going on, but it honestly not very intrusive on our stay at all so we dig it that's gonna be a really cool tower when that comes up all right so this area is called ranchos this is building six and seven area that we're in right now so casitas is buildings one through five which that's where we've stayed all week and then this is ranchos yeah, the whole styling is different. We've got cacti, that's pretty awesome. Like cacti patches, not just like, oh, there's a cactus. Here's the laundry for the area. And it's right next to the rancho's pool. So this is one of the smaller area pools. This resort has several. The main one here is called the dig site. We'll show you that next. We're at the intersection of Ranchos, which is those buildings over there that we just showed you, and Cabanas, which is the style of rooms in this building. And we're headed out to the main drag here so we can show you the dig site. Here's a big map of all the things that are at the dig site. There's a children's pool, Jaguar slide, the ruins, a playground, the main pool, the arcade, Siestas, which is the bar, the spa, and the ball court, which is a big full-size sand volleyball court. So we're actually out here before the pool opens, so we can't go inside, but this gives you an idea of the dig site. This is the main pool. You see the big Mayan ruins up there. Over there, siestas on the left, that's the bar. Iguana Arcade straight back there. This is a great pool. What an awesome area. This is gonna be a beautiful building. It's big, there's a lot of open space up top. I'm sure they'll do some restaurants up there because from Coronado Springs, you can see almost every park's fireworks. So if you get up there with a lot of windows, you know, 9 p.m., that'll be the spot to be. And then across the way there, that is the main building, the convention center, and Casitas, where we've stayed all week. So this area here is the bridge that comes across and where the restaurant will be. So that restaurant will be kind of in the middle of all of the three different areas with access from the sides. There's a lot of people registering right now over there. I think they just dropped off like a bus load. But this is the main area here. Really pretty up high. You got this nice fountain. And then here's Panchito's Gifts and Sundries. See if we can find anything cool. Keisha, show them our new uh, Coronado Springs pin. Springs merchandise, it's a little bit different. So there are some construction walls up in here, some changes that are being made, but coming in to grab some lunch. In Pepper Market, they have all your typical like uh, 
resort food court stuff like pizza and chicken fingers and um, a couple of grill options and stuff but they also have a Mexican specialty uh, section so we opted both to do that and we got a beef bowl so it's kind of like a burrito bowl like what you would get from Chipotle with like a beef I guess it's like pulled beef shoulder or something um, so yeah we'll see how it is it looks really good and so we just finished up eating uh, it was really good uh, a little bit of spice to it which I would expect from a place like this um, but yeah overall I'd, I'd give it an A I'd eat it again um, and then it was for two bowls and two drinks it was 32 and change like 32.50 something um, so fairly priced uh, comparable to like Chipotle or something like that we want to show you all uh, our room so all of Casitas are preferred rooms and they've all been refurbished so far. Um, and you can, as you can see, like we are already uh, moved in a little bit here. Um, but to start off, just pan, it is a beautiful, beautiful room. Um, you can definitely see that they're going for a very similar style um, in the new room. So you have like this hard, um, like laminate wood looking floor. The bed is elevated so you can fit your suitcases down there, which is really awesome. Um, the flooring is done at 45 in here. What was it? The flooring is done at the 45 at, degree angle. Oh, yeah, instead, instead of, of just linear. Yeah, it does. It is like a nice touch. Yeah. Um, we got the king size bed, so that's nice. Um, and they even left us these awesome little pins um please pardon our pixie dust because they are um obviously doing the construction so we got three little little pins those are cute so love that um i believe the safe is over here by the bed so you've got like a nice nice uh size safe so you can fit your computer or anything else you want to leave in there there's more than enough room then you have this really long bar um, and desk area. So you have like more drawers for storage. Um, you've got your Keurig coffee maker, um, which is, you know, always good. And then all of your supplies and things you need for um, coffee and for drinks there. And then under the coffee maker is your standard mini fridge. So that's good. It doesn't scream. I think Coronado Springs, although it's like very, very nice. Um, but there is this little bit of artwork here. You can see a little touch of the three caballeros, which is nice. And this giant TV, wall mounted TV. So very nice. And then again, with all of the refurbished rooms, there's so many of these USB ports. Um, that, so that's really nice. So obviously there's like the grounded plugs, um, but for those of us who no longer really use the grounded plugs for our electronic devices, it's nice to know that like every plug-in comes with those USBs. Um, they've got the full length mirror on the back of this adjoining door. I'm not quite sure where that would go if you weren't in an adjoining room, um, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. And they have these big, beautiful, sliding doors for the bathroom um, and then you have this giant like floor to ceiling I don't even know if you can see the whole thing closet in here um, you've got some more bedding up at the top which is really nice you don't get that necessarily in value so for those of us who are uh, cold all of the time like me that's gonna be super helpful at night um, all of your typical stuff in here with the iron and the ironing board um, in there. Um, and then for those of us who are on like a special anniversary trip since you brought a nice long dress, they've got this here so you, that can hang all the way to the ground. Um, and then there's so much storage. So it's very, very similar um, to what you saw in our last video about the Pop Century refurbished rooms, um, except for it's like a step up. And there we are. Hi. Um, it's a step up so they've got like all all of the countertops are granite both here and in um, the the bedroom and then there's the double sink here um, as well and a nice perk is they still have the individual h2o um, body wash and soap and all of that fun stuff um, and then here's the bathroom standard issue toilet it's got the nice um, like I don't glass I guess it is real glass glass shower um, we are not in a room that has a tub I believe if you request a tub some of the refurbished rooms have tubs 
um, but I'm not, don't quote me on that. But then they also do have what we saw like in Pop Century and what we're seeing pop up in different resorts is the H2O in the wall mounted pumps, which I still kind of like. You have the water wall mounted um, waterfall shower um, and then the second nozzle. So that's good. So that is the new refurbished rooms. We hope that you like it. We like it. Definitely thought it's a great deal. The price is still um, a little bit low because they're doing so much construction. So with a pass holder discount, especially, uh, it was a really great deal. And Matt's very favorite part of this room, ceiling fan. Yeah. Yes, those are cool. Um, so we obviously think that this resort is worth it um, to check out, especially if you um, get and request a refurbished room. So they're beautiful. Um, and that's the room. So that is a quick tour of Coronado Springs. Overall, we stayed here for a week. We had a great week. We had a lot of fun. It's a good resort. It felt like home. Uh, and for $50 more a night than the value, I think it was worth it because it was pretty quiet and serene. So we had a really good time this week. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment down below, and subscribe so the bare necessities of life will come to you. See you guys.